How much pressure do you and the rest of the defensive front seven feel uh, as far as getting pressure on the quarterback? That's uh, an area where you guys haven't necessarily been consistent in the past, been good at games, been other games just really didn't show up. It's not really pressure. It's just uh, we know this is our, that's our job as a front seven is to get pressure on the quarterback. And it's something we're taking upon ourselves in the offseason to uh, get better at uh, technique, hand, using your hands better, rushing the, to rush the passer better. And that's something I really see, that, see us improving in as far as the last two seasons getting significantly better in that regard as far as uh, wrestling the passer. Is there a greater comfort level now, year three, in yeah, Coach Crow's defensive scheme? Definitely a greater comfort level. You're more, more mature, you're well-versed. You, uh, there's a lot of you guys have experienced a lot you know, through the defense. Uh, they know their technique. They know what Coach Crow is looking for as far as your physical shape, uh, your physique. And a lot of guys have taken that into the offseason, gotten their bodies right, gotten in shape, getting ready to play uh, in this defense. And I know that there was some talk that maybe he's added some wrinkles in, changed up some techniques and things. Is he still going and putting in some new aspects to the defense as you continue to progress? Uh, I mean, coaches change things uh, week by week, so uh, sometimes uh, we don't even know what it is. But, I mean, he just, they change it all the time. So, I mean, it's, it's a normal part of football and making adjustments. And, uh, I mean, their adjustments are going to be made weekly. So, I mean, it's, it's really something that's already there. I'm sure you've already been asked this. Talk about the importance of the first game. Uh, first game is always important. You want to get your season off right, uh, and then there's added motivation. It's exciting to play. I mean, to play in the, on that stage, that type of stage. A lot of guys go to college for it, and Georgia Tech and Virginia Tech are very, two very historically good teams in the ACC. We're representing this league a lot uh, on the national stage. So, uh, we're, I mean, we're excited to have the opportunity to play, and we're working very hard to make it a, make it a great game. How much will the loss of Julian Burnett hurt? Not only his production what he brought there, but as a leader. Uh, you said it right. Uh, Julian was like a, he was an all-around player. He was a leader of the defense and the offense. Uh, not not the offense, but as far as a vocal leader on the team. Period. Uh, he uh, uh, he was a guy that you guys can relate to. He made being playing football more a lot of fun, exciting. He'll he'll go out and make a play and, and then get excited with you about it. So he's the kind of guy he led by example. And his play was second to none on our team last year. Uh, he was one of the best linebackers in the ACC last year, um, and he can't be replaced. But we have guys who are who are talented, very talented, are going to step up in this position and play really well.